Good morning guys, what's going on? So, a little nervous. Today is my CDL Class B permit, I mean, um, road test. Uh, I'm a little nervous because um, I studied. I think I'm uh, somewhat prepared, but uh, you know, let's see what happens. I mean, I drive these trucks every single day, but it's not the same as you know being judged by someone in the passenger seat who can eventually grant you or not grant you um, your license. So um, I'm a little bit excited. I'm a little bit nervous. Um, but I'm gonna go get some breakfast now and then hopefully go ahead and get this done with. A few moments later. Yeah. All right, so I just want to say thank you to my driving instructor for helping me get my CDL. Um, who also said, what was it you said about the instructor? That I was one of the few. Uh, one of the one few. One of the few that has made it throughout the whole road test from the beginning to the end with this particular inspector. So congrats. You're good. All right, man. Thank you again, man. Thanks a lot. What's up, guys? So a little bit of a change of scenery today. Uh, it's officially two days after I did my first take with uh, my instructor. Um, again, I did pass. I did get my CDL uh, Class B. Um, for you, a lot of people that don't know, I've been driving trucks and been familiar with trucks for about uh, I don't know a while now, like more than a couple of years. So. Um, yeah, I've only mostly been with dump trucks, um, driven them for a while, but I never did take that step to go ahead and get my license. Now, uh, I did. I went out and got my, actually I went out and got my permit a year ago from this date, uh, from yesterday's date, yesterday it expired, and I got my test scheduled for the 13th, so one day before it actually expired. But nevertheless, I went ahead and I did it. I passed, I had no other choice, otherwise my permit was going to expire and then I had to retake it. And so um, really quick, I'm here in my truck, I'm at the yard, um, I decided to take the day off today. I, yesterday actually I was feeling terrible, I had a really bad stomach virus. Um, so I took the day off, woke up, I felt a little bit better and I decided to go to the DMV to pick up, well not to pick up, but uh, when you get your CDL. Uh, after you pass the road test, they'll give you your temporary, um, it's a piece of paper, and usually with a regular license, you wait two weeks and it comes in the mail, but with this, you have to go to the DMV after you get uh, this paper, saying that you passed, you have to then go to the DMV, um, I think it, right now they charge me $18, and they charge $180 to, um, uh, what's it called? It's one hundred and eighty dollars to um, basically, if your license is going to expire, to reinstate it, it's one hundred and eighty dollars, and it's good for eight years. Uh, but I decided not to do it, so I just paid the eighteen dollars just for them to change my license to a Class B. And again, I still have to wait another two weeks, so um, I'm not sure why they did that exactly, but nevertheless, it is what it is. So I'm glad I got that over with. Uh, I wanted to show you guys really quick. Um, just my yard and my truck uh, this is my 1995 uh, Kenworth T800 it is a 10 speed um, I'm in this truck uh, not a whole lot of the time because I switch between trucks all the time uh, I wish I can show you guys the rest of the truck but unfortunately they're not here we left them at the job site yesterday um, I had to run out but uh, my other truck is there it's a 2007 International T400. Um, as you can see, none of the machines are here. We have an excavator, a skid steer, uh, along with a trailer that I operate all of them. So, um, as well as another dump truck that's at the job site right now. So really quick, let me just take you guys outside and show you why it is that I needed my CDL. So again, this is the small, this is the smallest truck we have. And I believe this is a, uh, a little under 26,000 pounds. Then there's the actual big boy. This is 72,000 pounds. Um, I drove four hours to Motor Via, New York to, to actually go pick it up with my boss. Um, I love this truck. Like I said, I love the inside more than anything. Uh, it's a little bit old, but it gets the job done. 
so there it is those doors I actually painted myself so if it looks good just leave a thumbs up so obviously the size difference between the car and the truck is immense but um yeah I mean just wanted to really quick show you guys um you know why I had to go ahead and get my CDL um, these trucks are obviously very heavy um, at any given time I'm holding around 15 tons which equates to around 30,000 pounds and you know 30,000 pounds on top of 71,000 pounds you know it's it's over 100,000 pounds so um, you know it was necessary I'm glad I got it um, you guys have any questions uh, let me know, write me a comment, send me a message, and I will help you out. I'm not sure how it is for other states, but I, if you live in New York or New York City, I can go ahead and, uh, you know, give you a hand or just hints on what it is that you need to do. The test was very hard. Like I said, my instructor, as you saw, said I was one of, he told me I was one of uh, a couple of students that had to pass in their first shot with a specific instructor. The test is very hard. I started at 1 o'clock. It ended at... Uh, a little close to three o'clock so you know that's a long time you gotta learn a lot of things and um, it's difficult but it's definitely worth it so I'm glad I did it uh, like I said if you guys got any questions or anything shoot me a message and I will help you out so once again thanks again for watching and please like and subscribe